Hi guys, so recently I talked about splitting your business artificially trying to dodge VAT and I touched upon some legal and some proper ways you could go about potentially reducing your VAT. One of them, some of you might be familiar with this, some of you might not be, but it's called the flat rate scheme for VAT. So in a nutshell, normally what happens with VAT is you charge it to your customer at 20% and you claim back VAT on your expenses. Um, some people get a bit confused and think if I'm just charging it to my customer, if I'm adding 20%, I'm not out of pocket. But in reality, if you're charging, you know, Mrs. Smith at the road, £10,000 to do some building work, and then all of a sudden you need to register for VAT and charge £12,000, you might not win the work. She might not be happy that you're charging her £12,000. So what happens is you you often still need to charge £10,000 because that's the maximum Mrs. Smith is willing to pay. However, your profit is now less because that includes your VAT, okay? So I hope that gives you a whistle top tour of how VAT works. On the other hand, you claim back on your materials. Um, that's standard the standard scheme for VAT. Another option to account for your VAT is the flat rate scheme. So what the flat rate scheme means is in my example of £10,000 you've charged Mrs. Smith, you don't need to pay 20% anymore. You pay a, pay a flat rate depending on the type of business sector you're in, okay? So for a builder or for construction and those sort of businesses, you're generally talking about 10%. So they're gonna pay 10% on 10,000 pounds, which is the gross amount you receive. So you're only gonna pay 1,000 pounds for VAT instead of 20% of VAT. So potentially some businesses can be better off on the flat rate scheme. There are some caveats. If you don't have any materials and what we call direct costs, so if you're not buying and selling products or buying materials, if you're just purely labor only or service type business, then you, you'll probably go on a really high rate for, for flat rate VAT and it's just not worth it. But potentially you could save if you are on the flat rate. I mean, we always review for our, for our clients if you're better off on the flat rate scheme or the standard scheme. The problem is you can't keep on changing between the two. Um, you, you know, you can row with one scheme when you first register, see it, how it works out, or maybe do some forecasting and you're free to change, but you're not supposed to keep on changing back and forth. So hopefully that's useful guys. It's the flat rate scheme for VAT. And yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching.